Hey guys, uh, here we're back for session three of um, Spec TV. So I've been a little bit quiet over the last uh, few weeks just because I had a little bit going on in regards to photo shoots and whatnot. So um, we're just working really hard at launching the website. So uh, I was in I was in Queensland for a week. It was a really good experience, and uh, I I done a shoot with uh, Daniel from Hawk Anderson. Mate, he was really great to work with. So. It was grueling heat up there. I'm not really used to that kind of heat coming from Melbourne. I was in Brisbane and, and I think the weather was 30 degrees, but it's a different 30 degree heat compared to uh, the heat we get here in Melbourne. So it was a four hour shoot. I was pretty drained after it. Um, you know, if, uh, the rebound's been pretty good. I haven't blown out too much weight after the, uh, after the shoot, but um, yeah, I think I'll probably put on about three kilos and, and I'll try to maintain that through summer and then uh, the next shoot's in Jan. So just really working hard at getting the website going and yeah, that's it, I suppose. A little bit more content and we're up and about. But now, today, the most important thing is we're gonna do a chest sesh. Uh, I'm gonna go down to Good Life in Taylor's Lakes, do a chest session there and uh, show you my routine of what I do for chest. Uh, probably one of the areas that I lag in that I, I really want to improve and I'm sure a lot of you out there want to uh, want tips on, on how to improve um, chest growth and development um, you know m mine's developing is developing well but it's still not where I want it to be so hopefully I can give you a few tips on how I've sort of increased you know I've increased a little bit of size probably over the last few months uh, not dramatic but you know just really you'll see that I'll work this top area a lot more than, than the lower area because that's an area I lack in and, and for some of you viewers that might be an area that you lack in that you want to work on. So first things first, pre-workout we've got here. Oh yeah, if you can hear the noise in the background. That is um, Renee from Renee Crystal Photography. She's um, She's taking a photo shoot of one of my kids today. Uh, awesome photographer. She does a little bit of everything. She does kids stuff. She does, um, well, we done a fashion shoot on the weekend. She was really good. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I find this one's a lot better than just your normal C4. So C450X gives you a lot more of a buzz. I'm gonna go a heap scoop. That's a little bit more. Why not? Why not? There we go, we'll get that in. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll get a little bit of agmatine in there. Punch that stuff in. Right, we'll give it a stir. Always get it on the table. I'll go finish this sleeve soon, I reckon. Still not done. But uh, just can't be stuffed sitting can't be stuff sitting in there for another seven, eight hours, ten hours, but I've got to go back. The guy that does it for me, Danny from uh, Black Blossom Tattoo, he's, uh, he's really good at what he does. He'll just sit there, you tell him you want to sit there for ten hours, he'll sit there for ten hours. But anyway, let's skull this shit. Cheers. I love that icy blue rose. Good flavour. Yeah. So, um, it's pretty hard, like, at the moment, like, because I've got nothing, like, I've got no goals at the moment, as in regards for the next sort of January is when my next shoot is. I haven't got, like, a real, real short term goal, so very hard to, to be strict on your food and be disciplined and it's very easy to blow out you know the boys will be calling me and they're like hey man come on man you can come out to eat and I'm like oh what do I do you know like I don't want to blow out so I've found another option that works for me and it really ties in with having a good social life and whatnot reckon counting your macros so I've been really counting my macros lately every day 
um, you know, tracking my carbs, my fats, my proteins, and it's been working really well. So for example, if I do want to go have a meal with the boys or whatever, you know, I'll just, you know, work out my macros through the day and, and make sure I allow for that meal to, to fit my macros. And, it's been really good. Like I used to sort of be a little bit skeptical on it and say, "Oh no, that doesn't really work. How's that going to work?" You know. But over the last twelve months, I've been really honing in on on just sort of the macronutrient side of things and and how much I put into my body and knowing what I'm putting into my body. So um, it's worked really well. Like at this stage of the last shoot that I've done about twelve months ago, mate, I blew out. I blew out eight or nine kilos in the first. I think it was like two weeks I put on eight kilos and and then I dropped a bit back you know like a lot of it was water weight but um, this time it's only been like two and a half three kilos you know so yeah just counting your macros and, and you know if you, if you go onto my website when when that's launched in the next fortnight um, you'll see you know a lot of tips and a lot of blogs in regards to macronutrients and, and how you should eat and whatnot a lot of free information and, and stuff like that that will help you so um, get onto my fitness pal as well that really that's what I'm using now you can just scan your food and whatnot so and it tells you what's in it so it makes it easy but anyway let's go I'm gonna head to the gym and uh, I'll see you there before that, check out the new kicks. It's a Jordan Corner right, day. I'm a Jordan Corner man. Love my Jordans. I love them. But yeah, I'll see you at Good Life. When you say that, is that how you really feel? myself and a bit more dominant through the side like you see with a lot of guys this top part's very flat because as kids we grow up and first thing we do is flat bench flat bench flat bench everything's flat so you tend to get rolled shoulders and you get thick um, front delts so what I've tried to do now over the last you know, year or two is really work from the top down. Um, I don't do too much flat. I tend to do more upper chest, upper chest flies. Even when I do cables, cable flies and things like that, targeting the upper chest a lot more. So if you notice, I get to the top, I squeeze. I'm just not throwing the weight up. 
and then that's it. We, we want to get more into muscle connection, so we're going to come up, really squeeze, engage every fibre in the chest, come down again and repeat. Set it. So just make sure, squeezing, squeezing. If you notice, what I find a lot of people do as well, when they bench press, they're really loose through the core and the legs and the glutes. When I'm really starting to fatigue and gas out, like I'm not the strongest guy by all means. Like a lot more guys bench press more than me, but I find when I've really squeezed my glutes and hamstrings, I engage them. It gives me a lot more tension on my chest. Too many guys are just they're loose, they're hunched over, and they're pressing like that, and they're hitting the front delts too much. But to really push the glutes out, squeeze the hammies, really drive the heels into the floor, and squeeze. Let me get proper mind to muscle connection. Right, so next one we're going to do is it's going to be an incline Smith machine press and then after that we'll follow it up with some fly exercises and we're done. Right, let's go. I guess in four or five years uh, the new uh, generation's music will be um, It'll have uh, a synthesis of those two elements and some third thing that'll be entire. Maybe it'll be, uh, they might rely uh, heavily on uh, uh, electronics, uh, tapes. I can kind of envision maybe uh, one person with a, uh, a lot of machines, tapes, electronic setups. Uh, uh, speaking and uh, using machines. machines.
Hey, I've just updated it and it's lagging. Add me on Snapchat as well. Alright. really squeezing the middle because we're sort of working that angle of the cable coming down squeezing up so many different fibers in your chest if you're cutting down what I find helps me getting all those striations out through the middle is cable flies without a doubt for me really engages different fibers than what dumbbell flies do um, and it engages engages better not better, but different fibers to what a press would. This really gets that shape in your chest. Gets out those, just those little details, you know? So, it's what a lot of people don't do. And I've found over the last, say, few years, work on those details, like things, exercises, you know, compounds really, really good. You know, it's gonna get you mass, it's gonna get you strong, it's gonna get you foundation and structure. But um, these, little detail exercises, you know, if you pay attention to those finer details, which I'm you know, starting to get better at. But you gotta think, I've only really been taking, you know, bodybuilding serious for probably, you know, three to four years max. Before that, I played football for, you know, 15 years, and all my training revolved around football and the biomechanics of how you should move as an athlete. Um, so, you know, now I've swayed more to this style of training. Um, the, the beauty of it is, uh, I know a bit about everything now, so it's not just bodybuilding and it's not just sports performance. I like to align myself with every, every type of training. So, you know, for you guys that, you know, playing high level sport, you know, I can help you with that. And for you guys that are aspiring maybe for a photo shoot, or to look in your best shape, maybe a wedding, Maybe you want to get on stage. I don't know. Maybe you just want to look like a sick company. I don't know. I can do it all. So, I've uh, been in the game for 10 years. It sound arrogant, but there's been a lot of experiences I've had in the industry that uh, allow me to help you. So, I'm going to finish off now. I'm going to do one more set, and then I'm off. And I'm going to start work again for the, uh, the evening. I've got about another five more sessions for the day. And we'll call it quits. Ciao. here taking a cake smash video of the little nugget because it's, 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 it's her first birthday coming up this week and she's turning Tomorrow. one she's turning one Tomorrow. yeah oh look at you um, little supermodel she's a little model there you go. Big photo shoot for you. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Let's go.
get that zoom on. Yeah, oh, what's going on there? Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at you. Look at you. So you're just down in a protein shape now, and then we're going to get stuck into work. Got a few online programs I've got to write up. And then uh, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the session at Good Life uh, Health Clubs today. Um, and Miller's in the video as well, wants to say hello. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube, um, Snapchat, and Instagram. And I'll see you next week for session four of Spec TV. Bye for now.